Good morning! The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro have just been announced and is coming to Malaysia at the end of this month. Besides that, Apple has also updated the Apple Watch with a new Series 9 and the Ultra 2. Here's everything you need to know from what's new and also the pricing and when you can buy one in Malaysia. This is Alex from SoyaChincha.com. Let's go! Before we continue, a moment of silence for these iconic features. The iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus may look the same at first, but there are several significant upgrades. The 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch screen remains the same, but you do get the dynamic island. So now it looks like you have the all new iPhone as you don't have the old notch at the top. It comes in five colors, blue, pink, yellow, green, and black. Under the hood, it runs on Apple's A16 Bionic chip, which is the same chip that you'll find on last year's iPhone 14 Pro series. Another big upgrade is the main camera, as Apple has moved on from 12 megapixel to 48 megapixel. Because of the larger sensor, you can get optical quality two times telephoto when you zoom in. And that's just a fancy way of saying taking a really high resolution photo and crop somewhere in the middle. For ultra wide angle, it still gets a 12 megapixel sensor while the front still gets a 12 megapixel ultra wide selfie camera. Also for the first time ever, USB C on the iPhone. So that means you can use the same USB C cable as your MacBook, new iPad, and even Android smartphones to charge your new iPhone. But the USB C data transfer speed is still slow at USB 2.0, with speeds of up to 480 megabits per second. In terms of price, the iPhone 15 starts from 4,399 ringgit, and the bigger iPhone 15 Plus starts from 4,899 ringgit. That's 200 ringgit more than the iPhone 14 series at the time of launch. If you're interested, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus will be available for pre-order in Malaysia on 22nd September. The devices will be available on 29th September. Alright, let's move on to the premium iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. This time, the new iPhone 15 Pro series gets a titanium design, which is said to be the lightest Pro iPhone ever, and it also has thinner bezels. The colors are not as vibrant as before. It comes in natural titanium, blue titanium, white titanium, and black titanium. Another thing they have killed for the new Pro series is the iconic mute or silent switch at the sides. This has been a standard feature on all iPhones since 2007. Instead, they are replacing it with a single action button. You can use it to toggle between ring and silent or customize it to launch your camera, torchlight, record a voice memo, or a series of tasks. The new iPhone 15 Pro gets a new 3nm Apple A17 Pro chip which boasts the best mobile gaming performance with a 6-core GPU. The cameras have gotten an upgrade as well. The 48 megapixel main camera uses a larger sensor, and Apple is also doing pixel binning for various scenarios. While it still gets a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, Apple has introduced a more advanced 12 megapixel 5x telephoto camera which uses a Tetra Prism design. This is somewhat similar to the Periscope telephoto cameras on other Android smartphones, but this is much slimmer. However, this 5x telephoto camera is only available on the Max, and the smaller iPhone 15 Pro still gets a 12 megapixel 3x telephoto shooter. Similar to the iPhone 15, the Pro models also get USB C, but it get faster USB 3 with speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. This means it is great for faster file transfers, but take note that the bundle cable is still USB 2.0. In terms of price, the iPhone 15 Pro starts from 5,499 ringgit for the base 128 gigs model, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max starts from 6,499 ringgit for the 256 gig model. Yep, that's right. No more 128 gigs for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Looking at the price, it costs 200 ringgit more than the equivalent iPhone 14 Pro model at the time of launch. Besides the iPhone models, Apple has also updated the Apple Watch with a new Series 9. It looks the same as before, but it runs on a new Apple S9 SIP chip, which offers more performance. Because the new chip is so powerful, it now offers on-device Siri. So that means that your Hey Siri voice commands are now processed quicker on the watch instead of going through the cloud. The new watch also supports name drop, 
which allows you to share contacts easily by putting a watch close to another supported device. Apple has also introduced a new double tap gesture with the new Watch OS X. If your other hand is busy, you can just double tap using your index and thumb to answer a call, snooze an alarm, or even take a picture. Pretty cool. The screen on the Apple Watch Series 9 has been updated to be brighter with up to 2000 nits, and it can be dimmed as low as 1 nits, which is great when you're in the cinema. The Apple Watch also gets ultra wideband, and that means you can use Find My iPhone with greater precision. That means your watch can tell the direction as well as the distance just like an AirTag. Apple is very proud about its initiatives to go green and the Apple Watch is now claimed to be their first carbon neutral product. Besides using more recycled materials and environmentally friendly packaging, the new Apple Watch will be shipped by sea instead of air. The Apple Watch Series 9 is priced from 1899 ringgit and it will be available in Malaysia soon. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 also gets similar updates as the Series 9 with a more powerful S9 SIP chip. The screen is also 50 times brighter with a peak brightness of 3000 nits. That's insane! And it also gets other new features like the Series 9. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is priced at 3799 ringgit and is also coming soon to Malaysia. The USB-C transition continues for the AirPods Pro. The current second-gen model has been updated with a USB-C port. During the presentation, Apple says that you can now charge the updated AirPods Pro via a USB-C cable to your new iPhone 15. The new AirPods Pro is also now IP54 rated, so it offers better water and dust resistance than before. With the new iOS 17, AirPods Pro will also get adaptive audio which automatically adjusts the transparency and active noise cancellation depending on your environment. The AirPods Pro 2nd Gen with USB-C is still priced at 1,099 ringgit. If you prefer wired headphones, there's also the USB-C Apple EarPods which is priced at 99 ringgit. But what if you need to use your existing lightning accessories with your new iPhone? Well, New iPhone also means new dongles. Apple has also introduced a new USB-C to Lightning adapter, so you can still plug in your old Lightning cables and accessories with the new iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. And this dongle, it costs 159 ringgit. So that's everything you need to know about the new Apple product launch that happened today. What do you think of the new iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro? Are you happy that Apple has finally moved on to USB-C? What do you think of the new action button? Leave your comments down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on your YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye!